I am Dr. Brent Larson. Welcome to the video. We're going to talk about 12 B12 deficiency symptoms. Now, B12 is really important. It is uh, one of the most common deficiencies of the elderly or the aging older population, mainly due to lack of digestive function, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But B12 has a lot to do with your nervous system. It has a lot to do with the nerves of your extremities, your peripheral nervous system, but also your central nervous system or your brain. Um, so let's dig into it. Number one here is numbness and tingling in the extremities. So anything out here, hands are tingling, they're numb, your feet are tingling, they're numb. B12 deficiencies will commonly hit external to internal or outward to inward. So way out on the fingertips, on the, on the, on the tips of the toes, and then it's going to start to invade more of that central nervous system. Number two, loss of vibration and position sense. Now this has to do with testing your thumbs, your fingers, and your toes. So loss of vibration, what you do is you actually use a tuning fork. A tuning fork just like this, and maybe I strike it, and I put it over here on my shoulder, I feel that sensation, I strike it, and maybe I put it on the tip of my thumb. Does it feel the same? Or is there a drastic decrease in sensation? Maybe I you know, strike it, put it here, then put it on the tip of my big toe. Or compare left foot to right foot, okay? Um, you'd be surprised. A lot of, especially older people in the population, they don't even know that they can't feel vibration. Vibration is one of the first senses that, that goes when the body is deficient, when it's, when it's inflamed, when it has a problem. Pain is not the first thing to go. People get pain, you know, numbness and tingling. Vibration and position sense are one of the first two things that tend to go first. So, I mean, I had a woman once who, older woman, she told me a story of how she was in church and she literally went home without her slippers. She literally walked out of her slippers, had no idea she wasn't wearing them anymore because she couldn't feel them. And she had no idea that she couldn't feel them. So when I do this test in the office and I, and I check vibration, there's so many people that um, don't even realize that they cannot feel that vibration anymore. Position sense is similar. So it's like I'm going to have someone close their eyes and I'm going to move their fingers around, up, down, side to side, and they need to tell me which way I'm moving them. So many people in that, especially that older aging population, their nerves are being damaged and or they have B12 deficiency and they don't know which way I'm going. So I could push it up and they have no idea that I'm pushing their finger up. I'm actually, and, or, or they say, you, they just guess. You're pushing it down when I'm pushing it way up here. So vibration and position sense are really big indicators of that. Uh, gait, or, uh, gait abnormalities. Gait is your walk, how you walk. Again, it's a nervous system function, so it needs to be coordinated. So if you have B12 deficiency, your gait could be abnormal. Uh, number four, hearing loss. Hearing has to do with the nerve as well. So it's cranial nerve eight that goes to the ears and your hearing could be affected. Five, muscle spasticity. So being spastic and tight. Uh, six, irritability. Now we're getting into the central nervous system, the, the, the brain up here versus the extremities and periphery. Irritability, depression, uh, brain fog, fatigue, kind of body fatigue. Um, loss of concentration, again, these are all brain problems. Uh, 11 is memory loss, and then 12 is kind of the end of it, is dementia. So you have all these things happening first, and potentially, you know, dementia down the road. Now, dementia is not just caused by B12 deficiency, but it's a contributing thing that helps the body break down over time, or causes it to break down over time. So what is a common cause of B12 deficiency? Well, one is obviously not getting it in your diet, uh, not, not eating the right foods and, 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 and things that, are, that you're consuming this B12 in. But one of the big ones, especially in the aging population, their lack of digestion. They've worn out their body. Hydrochloric acid or HCL deficiency. HCL is made by your stomach. It is one of the most important things that your, that your stomach makes. You have to have strong, good HCL production to absorb nutrients, to break down proteins, to disinfect your food. I have videos on this as well. Uh, pH of your stomach should be about a 1.5 to a 2. 
on the pH scale, 0 to 14. 14 is very alkaline, 7 is in the middle, uh, 0, 1 is very, very acid. You need a lot of acid, so 1.5 to 2, but so many people are, are way high in that range um, on those Heidelberg capsule tests. Heidelberg capsule tests are radio tagged. You, you, you know, eat them or swallow it, and it goes through your GI tract, and they can mark and tell wh um, what the pH is of different parts of your GI tract. So hydrochloric acid deficiency is rampant, especially in the aging population. It's one of the causes of some of that muscle wasting because you're not absorbing and utilizing proteins how you should. Uh, here's some markers on a CBC or a complete blood count. Most medical doctors, most hospitals run this, okay? Uh, mean corpuscular volume above, well, let's just say 90, 91, okay? A corpuscle is a red blood cell, the mean of it and the volume of it. So it's a good indication of a deficiency. It doesn't say you have a B12 deficiency. It's an indication that it might be uh, what's happening. So mean corpuscular volume, or MCV, okay? Uh, number two here is mean corpuscular hemoglobin. Hemoglobin uh, carries iron and oxygen. It's very, very important to get transported around the body. That's why it's in a corpuscle, a red blood cell. So anything above around a 32, another good indication of deficiency. Now, if both of these are deficient, it's an even greater indication, right? Because now you have two things that are kind of adding up. Then number three is homocysteine. This one, for some reason, is not commonly run. I don't really understand why, uh, because I find this uh, high in the vast majority of people who have some type of chronic condition. So we'll say anything above a 10. A, a 10 for sure. You should not be over a 10. I've seen above 20. That person's brain is on fire. Um, or even lower, uh, you know, above an 8 or above a 7 or a 6 even, some, some uh, people say. So homocysteine is an, is an inflammation marker, but it's also a good indication of a deficiency of B12, uh, B9, B6 as well. So some of the supplements that you'd want to take then, the top three are the vitamins, so B6, B9, B12, this is folate or folic acid. Um, and then the bottom two, these ones in black, those are digestive enzymes to support your digestion. I use these very, very commonly with people. I have a certain company that I, that I particularly like. Um, on my website, but HCL and digestive enzymes with the meals help your body utilize these nutrients that you're taking in supplement-wise or preferably, for the most part, try to get it in through food, but then supplement accordingly. But these two are really critical to help that body um, break down food much, much more efficiently. Uh, DrLarson.com is my website if you want to learn more. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you again on another video.